Metallica pays tribute to Stranger Things' Eddie Munson. Stranger Things is one of the most watched TV series in the whole world, and it's truly a good one, with a great cast supporting each other. During the season, Eddie Munson was a figure who was quite recognizable to us. He was the charming freak who liked frightening the normies. Almost as much as he enjoyed recruiting other lost souls to play in his Dungeons & Dragons adventure via the Hellfire Club. The fact that men like Eddie made wonderful friends, and for some of us amazing partners, was a well-kept secret throughout our time in high school during the 1980s and 1990s. Eddie, a character portrayed with elegance by Joseph Quinn, may not have cared all that much about his academic performance. He has skipped a few years and is a little older than most of the other cast members in Stranger Things. However, not only was he intelligent and creative, but most importantly, he was a kind person. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, we'll tell you guys Metallica pays tribute to Eddie Munson. Yeah, you heard it right. So let's start our video. For those who don't remember Eddie or don't know about Eddie, let us tell you briefly. Edward, Eddie Munson, initially introduced in the fourth season of the Netflix series Stranger Things and portrayed by Joseph Quinn, was a major character in the show. Dustin Henderson looked up to him as both a buddy and a model because he led the Hellfire Club at Hawkins High School, played electric guitar in his band Corroded Coffin, and was the leader of the Hellfire Club. The late Billy Hargrove, played by Dace Montgomery and appearing in seasons one through three, is Eddie's counterpart in the Upside Down. Billy, a hard-rocking womanizer with a disgusting little mustache, had a history of physical and emotional abuse at the hands of his father, which converted him into an unpleasant bully to Max. The hot-wiring memory makes it quite evident that Eddie didn't have a happy upbringing, even though we don't know much about Eddie's history. Despite this, he regarded Dustin, perhaps one of the most awkward, and hence one of the most vulnerable characters on Stranger Things, as an equal and a comrade. And even though Eddie was originally shocked when he saw Erica Sinclair played by Priya Ferguson as a replacement player, he rapidly learned to admire her in her role as Lady Applejack. The next person was Chrissy, who had trouble waking up. Eddie regretted leaving the cheerleader who was maimed and killed in his uncle's trailer during a drug trade. While running away was appropriate, Eddie felt shame for abandoning the cheerleader. Because of his passionate care for her, some fans have begun to ship them together in the hereafter. It's important to note that Eddie wasn't necessarily the most reputable drug dealer. Someone battling with images of Vika should not be given ketamine since it is an anesthetic with psychedelic and disassociative qualities. And even though some of the more meat-headed fans of the metal genre might have been extremely homophobic in the 1980s, and even one of the most metal dudes in the world felt safer in the closet. Eddie's little flirt with Steve Harrington was just serious enough to get shoppers writing reams of smut on fan sites. Quinn is a clever enough person to play along during interviews. Eddie won over the audience with every laugh and tear he shed. It's saying something that even Metallica thinks Eddie's death in the Upside Down was a brave and metal way to go, since they gave their stamp of approval. However, his demise has left a huge, old metalhead-shaped hole in the hearts of both the people who watched his show and the people who were close to Eddie. A shout-out to his uncle Wayne, played by Joel Stauffer, who continues to post missing person posters for his nephew, even though the posters have been vandalized with graffiti. My incredibly hot, long-haired boyfriend and his friends skipped the cafeteria for endless chess games and allowed me to tag along with them during LAN parties, where Dr. Pepper flowed freely and Minotaur was the game of choice. Watching Eddie romp with his friends brought back memories of my time spent with an equally special and delightfully dorky gang of metalheads in high school. Even though it was possible for them to place out all of the available math courses at our high school, then to spend time in detention with Eddie, there's no doubt that they would have recognized each other as metal brothers. Certain fans have high hopes that Eddie will appear in the show's next fifth and final season, but some things are better off left in the past. For example, Susie and the Banshees and the Cramps. Well, that's all for today's video. Tell us in the comments section how today's video was and what you think about Eddie Munson's role in the series. I hope that you found this video interesting. If you want to see more just like this, then please consider subscribing for more. And also, don't forget to give your comments and please provide us with your valuable feedback. We will see you in the next video with some more interesting celebrities, facts, and stories. And until then, stay tuned.